Food Review Club, good evening and welcome back to another another beer, I suppose, with me. My name's Dan, aka One Minute Beer Review, over on TikTok and Instagram. And this evening, I've got one of my favourites. So this is In Edit Dan, okay? This is from um, SA Dam, who are the same brewery behind Australia, Australia Dam, which is a, you know quite a popular beer. A few people have already been in the comments to ask for it. So, again, get in the comments and ask for other beers as well. So, um, in Edit Dan, basically, it's, it's, a bit of a, it's a bit of a weird one. It's a it's a lager wheat beer hybrid. Uh, it's created by a um, Spanish chef called Ferran Adria. Adria? I don't know how to, how to pronounce it. Um, basically, he's the world's most award-winning chef, and he put this beer together. So, you've got Pilsner malt, and you've got wheat in there as well. So, like I say, it's a lager wheat beer hybrid. Living the dream. It's 4.8%. Comes in a 750 milliliter bottle. That's a massive bottle, that. Um, cost you four quid as well from Tesco, unless you've got a club card, and it'll cost you £3.50. So there you go. Um, it's supposed to pair quite well with food. It's, it's, a, it's a food beer, I suppose. It's Mediterranean, isn't it? You know, Spanish sort of, that sort of area, that sort of way of life. You know, you, you have a glass of wine with your food and that. No, have a, have a, have a posh beer instead. Um, but no, I've 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 had this in restaurants before, you know, with a bit of fish and that. Um, you know, it goes quite well with. Uh, I know I don't look like it, but with a salad, um, you know, it's it's good. It's good to pair with with food and stuff. It's it's. I don't know if you can see all that in this light, but it's quite a hazy sort of beer. So it's not quite as opaque as a wheat beer, but it's not quite as transparent or translucent as a lager either. Um, so you get you do get you get plenty to kind of see. Um, you know, both worlds, I suppose. Now you can taste, you can taste the sweetness in there. There's orange peel in there, and fairly soon there's licorice in it. A bit of coriander seed, that sort of, that sort of sweetness coming through. You can taste the wheatiness in it, but it's a bit pared back, and then you do get a bit of a zip, a bit of, a bit of lager, I suppose. You know, oh, it's beautiful for me. It's absolutely bang on. Four point eight percent. Yeah, sessionable beer. Very sessionable indeed. Um, big enough as well to share it around. You won't want to though. You will want to drink a lot of it. I went sober recently for October, and basically poured an entire bottle of this over my head. It is one of my favourites, and the fact it's only four pound a bottle. Um, you know, is is testament to how good sort of value for money it is. It is for me, it's a special beer. You know, there's nothing really out there that tastes very similar to this. You're either getting a lager or you're getting a wheat beer. There's nothing really blending the two together. But yeah, it's well worth it's well worth the money. And um, you might not be used to spending four quid on a beer, but trust me, get this one picked up, please do. And Get in the comments and let me know what you think. Also, if you have tried it, again, get in the comments. Let me know what you reckon to this. And also, what other beers do you want to see? Again, it's your page, this. I am but your humble servant. Um, thank you for joining in once again. Really do appreciate it. Um, keep watching out for, for another video coming up soon. And as always, let's keep drinking beer. See us big daddy B pubs and met on a mission To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen Different places, different flavours, try different things Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?